another classic little mini KD 100 M Kawasaki. We bought from a collector. We had seven of these. He was a retired state police officer. Had a soft spot in his heart for these mini cowies and was collecting them, but he never got around to restoring them. Uh, so when we bought it, it needed a new engine. So the mechanic, mechanic who is our uh, most experienced mechanic here, he took a, he had one of these when he was a kid. And uh, I don't know, just had like personal motivation to, to work on them. So he said, let me do them. So he took this, took the engine out, figured out that the bottom end needed a total rebuild. And we, we, we put a brand new bottom end that we had in stock in it. It's, a, it's actually a, a new used engine, so everything from the cylinder down has been replaced with a perfectly functional engine transmission, a good used one we had in stock. The cylinder uh, was bored, and he put a brand new Wiseco piston in it with rings, uh, new base gasket, new head gasket, new spark plug cap, new spark plug wire, new fuel petcock, new fuel lines, rebuilt the carburetor, rebuilt the, the air box, uh, replaced the oil tank, um, went through the oil injection system. The manic mechanic is, you know, a guy who rebuilds six-cylinder Honda, so this little uh, 102 stroke was like a walk in a park for him, but he really liked work, working on these and, and riding them afterwards, so he went right through it and the thing runs like brand new. It's got a brand new Kenda front tire on there. You can see it's got the hairy nubs on it. Uh, the forks, lowers were repainted and refinished. That's the original front fender with a new number plate with the proper Kawasaki uh, vintage mounting system on here. He put new levers on it, new grips, a new throttle assembly, new on-off button, new front brake cable, new clutch perch and lever, uh, new grip, new cable, a new seat cover, uh, new seat foam, and uh, we replaced the rear shocks on it also with a, a longer set of, of Kawasaki shocks that were in better condition and better dampening than the originals. I put a little Stinger exhaust on it. Uh, the original Stinger was missing. It uh, has a uh, new Kenda Washugal 2 a big knobby rear tire on it, new uh, chain and sprocket, um, that's a gold chain, he put a new shifter on it, basically gave it the full Monty uh, mechanical restoration, so, um, and then it went to detail, where the detail shop, I'll run it in a second, so stay tuned, uh, went to the detail shop where the engine cases and side covers were repainted, the exhaust system was repainted, um, the badges were cleaned up, the rims and the chrome were all, all the chrome was cleaned and polished, the four floors were repainted, the swing arm was repainted, uh, partial frame rails were repainted, as was the kickstart, kickstand, foot pegs, and it has a new shifter on it. So uh, it was gone through cosmetically to the best of our ability, but without getting too far upside down on it. So uh, again, this is the original fuel tank. Take a look at this. It's got a little patina on it. It's uh, 45 years old, but it shines really, it still shines real nice, and there's no dents in it, which is absolutely freaking some kind of a Christmas miracle um, for a vintage bike like this. So. Uh, the sticker, uh, the decal, um, it's clear coated over at the factory, but it has a little patina on it. Uh, but it, it's original, they're only original once. So uh, mechanically, it's been gone through top to bottom, and uh, it runs freaking amazing. Now, it's, this isn't designed for a 220 pound man, six foot two, so I might look like a, a monkey riding football here, but my inner child certainly loves this stuff. It's I love riding these little minis. The new wise scope piston in there and the manic mechanics so you know this thing it's better than it was brand new it runs freaking amazing
brand new top end on it and everything else he did do as tight as a tiger it's just beautifully the brakes work fantastic all the cables are new on it the tires are new the chain and sprockets are new it's been totally gone through the, the engine was replaced and the top ends have got a brand new wise coat piston in it so um, it's about as good as it gets man so if you've been looking for a classic kd100 well buy this one because it's find that hard to find these that are redone usually people people redo them and then they ride the wheels off of them or their kids ride the wheels off of them pretty much very low maintenance bike it's uh oil injected so just add oil and go gas and oil keep your air filter clean and, and this is a run forever so um hard to find a steel tank minis are getting to be few and far between uh, it's, it's not perfect obviously it's got a little patina on the tank i showed you the rear fender has got a split in it right here um i couldn't find a, a replacement uh, online so we figured we just sell it as a, you can put a Preston Petty on there if you want um, But everything I said that was done on it pretty much covered all the mechanical bases um, So yeah, it's, it's a it's a It's a really fun little bike that uh, has got a lot of life left on it now that Jeff is completely resurrected it mechanically so If you have any questions about it, give us a call. We can ship it anywhere in the country finance it in house and uh, We'll take care of you. So give us a call at 860-454-7024. Oh, I forgot to mention front number plates new too. Um with the proper Kawasaki logo and the proper mounting brackets on the back of it. So I think I covered pretty much everything. Went over the two-page work order he has on it here. He also installed a new air boot, air boot um, for the carburetor. So um won't be the least there. And the fuel tank was treated, the interior of it was treated with evapo rust, so the inside of the tank was cleaned out. And the oil tank that he put on it is off of uh, another, uh, another um, Suzuki, it's off a of Suzuki DS80, so he had a fabricated bracket for it, but there wasn't a new oil tank or a KD100, so he, he mounted a Suzuki oil tank, pretty much the same thing, uh, just uh, has a different bra bracket on it. So, oh, also, new, new steering head bearings, that's kind of a... Uh, major service item so you got to pull the whole front end off and replace the, the bearings upper and lower and grease them that was done so then I went to the detail shop where we went through the whole thing steam cleaned it hand washed it uh, repainted the engine cases the cylinder the exhaust system painted the fork lowers um, painted the swing arm the brake stay arm the pegs the brake lever polished all the chrome That's about it. So I can't think of anything else. Uh, of course, uh, swing arm on this side also, and, and the kickstand and, and uh, engine covers on this side, and exhaust. The original badge is in mint shape as the original graphic. So we're just getting hard, hard to find. Uh, restored minis like this just don't exist. Uh, there's not many of them around. So probably won't be another KD100 for sale. Restored uh, online when you look at it, unless it's one of ours. There's not too many people out there do this because it really is a labor of love. I mean, I'm looking at a 30 hour work order on this. And just under a thousand dollars in parts so uh, it all adds up pretty quick I, I don't know what the shops are getting in your area but Connecticut it's 120 to 150 an hour so um, it's, it's easy to get upside down on these restorations so if you think you're gonna buy a Craigslist turd and, and turn it into this uh, and do all this work you're gonna you're gonna have a, a long road or you can just cut a check and wheel this one off into the sunset it's ready to go for a, a long haul if you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks for watching. God bless America.